So this session will be all about creating a composite and then animating it using the timeline panel in Photoshop. This is a brand new icon in Photoshop. This is the generate image icon. I want to create the illusion that this person is throwing a playing card at us. King of hearts, playing card, a Renaissance style on a solid white background. So I'm gonna click on photo. I don't need a reference image or an effect. I'm just gonna click on generate. I just really like the way this one looks. So yeah, that's yeah, what I'm gonna keep. Cool. Make sure that you have path selected mm -hmm. on the drop down here in the options bar. And then you can just make a rectangle. You can move it around by holding the space bar. So I'm just gonna try to match the left edge here and the top edge. There's my shape. Yeah. You can click and drag on these dots and then you can uh, just round those edges. Now, all you need to do is go into the layers panel, hold control on Windows. That's the command key on the Mac. And while you're holding down that key, click on the layer mask icon. This creates <coughs> a vector mask. So I'm just gonna call this card. Then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna convert this into a smart object. Press control T, command T to transform. You can always right click on it. You can choose distort, which allows you to drag these handles independently. So I'm gonna go in here and I wanna create some depth, some atmosphere. So when we add a little bit of fog, a little bit of smoke, you can just go into like the lasso tool, for example, and just make a selection out of like this. The right section here. you want, yeah. Yeah, and then just uh, control C on Windows, command C on the Mac. I'm gonna create a new document and just paste it in here. I'm just gonna select the brush tool from this dropdown. I'm just gonna bring the hardness down to zero and I'm just gonna um. Um, soften the edges here. I'm gonna duplicate this layer by pressing Control J, Control T to transform, change the blending mode to screen so we can see through it. And I'm just gonna rotate it and just move this like this and maybe scale it. So I'm just gonna press Control E while selecting everything um, to merge it into one layer. So we're just gonna take that image. Um, when you create a brush, whatever is black is actually what becomes the area that will have quote unquote paint. So we want the opposite. So Control I to invert. Control shift U to desaturate. You can go into <laughs> edit, define brush preset. I'm just gonna call this fog. And now we have this fog this brush. Nice. We'll create a new layer. We'll go into the button here to open up the brush settings. And now we can increase the spacing. We can go into shape dynamics and adjust the size jitter. That means that every single brush tip will be different sizes. So now when I paint, I get this result here. I'm gonna make white the foreground color and then I can paint my fog and see that, see? So when you go into Windows, you can choose timeline and then this creates the video timeline. So why don't we start by animating the card? So I'm gonna click on the stopwatch here, Control T to transform, here we are. And I'm gonna scale this in while holding shift. You know, maybe the card is here, just coming right out of his hand. And then we can go to the end here and make it larger. And now it's coming like up here, right? And notice that it automatically created a keyframe. Mm -hmm. And now you can see the animation. Shoo. We created a smart object earlier. So if I go into this smart object here, we can also create a video timeline in here. Control J to duplicate. And now I can go and make any changes I want to this. So this is a king of hearts. So what do we make it like an ace of clubs or something completely different? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this layer here and I'm gonna clip this layer to a layer below. Control Alt G on Windows, Command Option G on the Mac. That means that the layer below controls the visibility of the layer on top. In this case, it works perfectly. Then I'm gonna hold Alt on Windows, Option on the Mac, and click on the layer mask icon to create a black layer mask. Hold Shift and click on the layer mask. Notice that red X, it just means it disables it. We have a layer mask stopwatch, which creates a keyframe. So layer mask enabled. And then at one second, uh, we're gonna hold Shift, click on that. So. The playing card, while it's in midair, you have to save it, of course. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to switch. See that? See, see the switch? So now let's create the illusion that the fog layer is just moving through the air, right? I'm just going to place this right about here. And I'm just going to create a position, move that keyframe to the beginning. And I'm just going to move this to the left. I'm going to create a black mask. Alt on Windows, Option on the Mac, and click. Unlink it to the layer. I'm going to go into like, Filter, yeah. Clouds. So now we have this mask, right? So I'm going to make it larger, and I can start the mask on this side. Move this over here, and now mm -hmm. we can move, move the mask to Up the there. other side. So now, Whoa. when I Play. make that adjustment, see that? Just from that one layer, it looks like it's got more depth. So now we're going to go back into the card. We can click on Gradient Overlay, right? So I'm just going to start here. I'm going to press OK. And then when I go here, just bring this down and this change the blending mode to screen. So now, look at that. Quick selection is probably the easiest way to do this. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate the layer. I'm just gonna convert this into a smart object. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna hack this. 
You're gonna hack we're, it? We're gonna hack this, yeah. So he's gonna copy, duplicate, mm -hmm. and flip it and cover on the top. Yep, that's right. Transform, control T, drag the reference point here, and it's gonna start right here. And then we're gonna move it to the end here. Control T, just gonna generate that right there. And then just click on generator fill. So that's then we got the hand, we got this, and we can put that on top. And there we go. I'm gonna hit play. Okay, okay. There that's we go. great. Look at that. It doesn't look yeah. that bad. It looks pretty good. Well, thank you so much. It was really awesome being here with you guys. We had a lot of fun.